Hello everybody, it's your boy N here. I'm coming at you guys with another YouTube video. So in today's video, it is going to be a guaranteed method to farming the amorphous material patterns. I'm just going to call them the relics in this game because I used to play Warframe and relics is just a lot easier to remember than amorphous material patterns. And it's a lot, lot easier to say. But <laughs> without further ado guys, let's get right on into today's video. Just before we do that, uh, please do use my creator code which is on screen right now. Other than that, I've got a link for my Discord server in the description. It's everything to do with the First Descendant. So if you are interested in that, please click the link in the description and join up. We would be happy to have you there. Right, now let's actually get into it. So starting off, let's go on over what you're going to need for this farm. Now the straight answer for this is quite literally nothing. You can use any descendant, any weapon or anything like that. There is basically only a few certain criterias which you need to meet. Right, so first of all, to actually start this up, you're going to want to head on over to the infiltration operation terminal and you're going to want to start it up on hard mode. Now you can do literally any of these missions, um, any of these infiltrations, it's completely up to you. All of them give different relics or different amorphous material patterns so you're gonna want to do that now for the more options select you're gonna want to enable all of these to get the maximum number of kill score now there is going to be a score counter on the side of the screen that looks just like this so what you are going to do is you are essentially going to run the mission and max out the score counter now what will happen is if you do max the score counter out you are essentially guaranteed two of whichever relic or pattern or whatever you will get from the mission and that doesn't even include the chance to get the stabilizer so you are in able to get a stabilizer as well i've never gotten two stabilizers at once but i've gotten two relics and a stabilizer at once so it is definitely worthwhile investing as you can see i'm going to be doing the magister lab and i will also run a different one later in the video just because i want to get myself the ultimate viesta part so let's get on into the gameplay and let me show you some of the results okay so for this first run i decided to completely ignore my own rule i just sped run through this mission and didn't really care about the score so i'm going to fast forward now to the point where we're at the end of the mission and i will show you what happens with the actual drops from the boss and show you the difference between uh, when you do it properly and when you do not do it properly so at this point the boss is on the verge of death and let's jump on him and kill him there you go and uh, from the drop as you can see we're getting a bunch of stuff but there's only one material pattern right there so i only got one relic and i think that this mission only took us three or four minutes because we were speed running it or something like that but you could see clearly that i only got one of the amphimorphous relic pattern material so moving on this is another run that i'm doing in the shelter with only one other player now i do want to say that the more players that are in the lobby the more that these rewards scale so the more players they are essentially the harder it is to earn score so it is more ideal to run this with less players if you can do it solo you're gonna have the time of your life because you can do it absolutely fastest in solo that is probably a fact and with this here i'll fast forward to the results after me and my guy over here have eliminated the boss so as you guys can see currently the boss is uh, on his last phase so we're just gonna absolutely eat him glare with the fast fire rate launch i can't even remember the name it's so so overpowered i am going to be making a separate video about that once i do get glare so you know i'm in the process of farming once i have got all the farms done i promise you there'll be high level content and builds to like destroy everything but anyways we've just done this one and as you guys could see i did get two of the material patterns now let's pull up the reward screen and as you can see the score that we had was over the 40,000 500 now the score depending on the mission will be a little bit different which brings me on to this specific run that i'm showing you gameplay of right now which i'm calling the anomaly run so in this one you uh, can see my score is not nearing enough 30,000 but we still ended up completing it and we still did end up getting two of the material patterns now you can speed run it and there is basically a 50 50 but if you want to take the guaranteed path to getting yourself two of the relics you do basically have to hit the score cap and it is as simple as that now i'm just going to quickly go on over why i think that this is more worth it than the outposts now i don't know about you guys but my rng on the outpost can absolutely suck and I can end up running 20 minutes, 30, 40 hits on the outpost and only end up getting 3 or 4 relics. 
in the entire bloody time, which is obviously not worth it. Now with these runs, they can take between 5, 10, and at an absolute, absolute most, 12, 15 minutes. But at the same time, you're guaranteed the two relics. If it's uh, any difference, I'd much rather do an 8 minute run where I'm guaranteed a two relics instead of running the outpost eight times and hoping to God. It's a little bit of a 50-50 trade-off, but more or less it is your just personal opinion on what you would prefer to do. Overall, my conclusion is with this is that this is guaranteed, which makes it so damn nice. You don't have to run this, and if you prefer doing the outposts, please do feel free to run your outposts. But this is a method for people who specifically want these infiltration uh, material patterns or whatever. And it's an effective way that I think that genuinely makes this significantly easier. But just good luck to yourself on the RNG and cracking it open. Um, can I get a hashtag RNG in the comments? And uh, I will be liking every single one of them comments, by the way. Just because I want all my homies and everyone watching this video to have good RNG whenever they're cracking the relics open. I'm hoping you're getting yourself the ultimate pass that you need. Or just the pass that you need in general. So, you know, a bit of that. Spread the love and community in the comments. I would love to see some RNGs in the comments. So, please do that. Which brings me to the end of this video. So, like I said, end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing and smashing that like button. On my... YouTube channel I'm trying to do a little bit more so you know if you've got any ideas or want to see any specific videos please do leave it in the comment section below but other than that I do hope you guys have enjoyed like I said if you did please do smash that like button and I will see you guys in the next video peace